Welcome to the The Generation Podcast, an audio resource dedicated to a generation of young people who are committed to total surrender to God and total dependence on His power to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. This podcast is designed to strengthen and encourage through a series of Bible-based practical talks. In today's podcast, we are joined by Chaplain Gene Brown for an interview focusing on God's unfathomable deliverance. Satan would have you so focus on your regretful past that it becomes your inevitable future, while God will not only free you from that past, but will use it as a tool for an impossible ministry. Welcome to the The Generation Podcast. I'm Bobby Bosler, and I'm sitting right now next to a man uh, that I got to hear preach ever since I was a child. Chaplain Gene Brown uh, came to the church I grew up in in New Jersey many times over my growing up years, and I know his uh, preaching was always helpful, it was always encouraging. And uh, you know, uh, I was listening to him speak here this evening, and he shared a little bit of his testimony. And I just thought, you know, I would really like for the young people, uh, for you young people, to hear what God did in his life to bring him to Jesus and also to bring him uh, to where he is serving the Lord now. Um, Chaplain Brown, I'm, I'm so thankful that I get the chance to talk to you here today. I wonder if maybe you could just tell the young people who are listening to the podcast um, maybe about uh, how God brought you to Jesus. February 23rd, 1961, in a prison cell, I was reading the scriptures. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and you shall find rest in your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Suddenly it occurred to me that he was talking to me, Gene Brown, in a prison cell. And he didn't care that I was in a prison cell. He just cared about my soul. And so I knelt beside a bunk in that old eight by 10 foot cell and asked Jesus Christ to come into my heart and save my soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, um, I, I'm sure there are probably some young, young people listening uh, here today and they may feel like they've uh, messed their life up irrecoverably. I know many times it can be a discouragement when we fail. And um, I'm sure you felt some of that in your life, especially being there in a prison cell. Um, and yet, uh, God gave you not only hope for your eternal life, he gave you a vision for what he wanted you to do with your life. I wonder if you can maybe speak to that a little bit. Yes, gradually I realized that uh, we're saved to serve, mm -hmm. not just to... And so I began to study the scriptures. I had some Christian folks who had been praying for me since I was a young kid, uh, uh, really a young hoodlum <laughs> in the neighborhood that they were in. And uh, so... Uh, they, I wrote to them, first of all, and told them that I had gotten saved. Mm -hmm. I knew they would be delighted, and from that point on, they sent me just about every Bible study that Moody Bible Institute had, and I, I studied every one of them and, and uh, got the certificates and everything. And, but I realized uh, when it come time to leave, I had, when I was saved, I had four more years to go, uh, three more years to go, excuse me, I had four in all, three left to go. And as I got toward the end of my time there, I realized that I had to do something with my life for God. Mm. Didn't have any idea what it would be, but I promised him that if he would make it possible, I'd take the gospel of Jesus Christ back to men and women of mine bars. Mm. And uh, eventually, over the course of time, he's done that big time. Amen. I spend much of my time now behind prison walls counseling others and uh, leading them to Christ. Amen. Amen. How long have you been doing that now? Oh, 25 years, I guess. Wow. Maybe a little longer. Wow. Amen. You know, uh, it, it's amazing because, um, you know, one of the things that has uh, the Lord spoken to my heart about is, is when God spoke to Jeremiah and called him to do something, he felt very incapable. And yes. God said, basically, don't worry about it. I actually knew you before you were ever born and before you came out. I had a plan, a specific calling Amen. for you. And that's such an encouragement to me. Um, just, just the thought that, you know, before you ever knew Jesus, Jesus not only knew you, and he, but he also knew what he had created you to do. I, I don't know if maybe you'd have a, any words of encouragement to these young people, just 
just regarding following God's plan yeah. for their lives? Well, the first thing we say is, how can I know God's plan? Sure. And you'll never know God's plan if you're not involved with God, if you don't yeah. read his word, if you don't pray to him, yeah. if you don't uh, uh, read good books about God. I mean, from the best authors. Yes. We won't go into who they are now, <laughs> yeah. but I don't want to offend others. No. But uh, then you realize you're saved for a purpose, mm. and that purpose should be in somehow to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to others. Mm. Amen. You know, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm thankful. Um, you know, God's called me into evangelism. Amen. You mentioned tonight, God's called you into prison evangelism. We're fellow evangelists Amen. here sitting today. And, you know, I, I can't help but wonder if there may be a young man or young woman listening to this recording today. And uh, maybe you felt like, I've messed up so much. How could God ever use me? Could you maybe say something to yes. somebody who might be feeling there, like that? There, there is nobody who has done anything so bad that God can't love them, and God doesn't have a place for them. Yeah. In fact, uh, I've known other prison inmates, who are, a couple of them who are pastoring now. Amen. Now, it's amazing what God will do with a life who is willing to be used. Yes, We don't have to know all there is to know when we surrender. Mm. What we need to do is surrender, and then God will open the doors and close doors and get you where he needs you to be. Amen. That's exactly what he did for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, you heard it, young person. Uh, you know, you you may be sitting there thinking there's no way, but with God, all things are possible. It's not about how, how perfect you've lived your life. It's about whether you're willing from this day forward to, to surrender to Jesus to depend upon him to enable you to do what he has called you to do. And you know what? The sky's the limit. And yeah. uh, if you will yield to God and depend on him, uh, your life can turn the world upside down for Jesus Christ. Well, thank you, Brother Brown, for joining us for this podcast today. I know young people will be encouraged. Thank you for your ministry to me and for your ministry to the men uh, behind bars. God is using you. My privilege. Praise the Lord. Well, thank you, young people, for joining us here today for the The Generation podcast. Remember, this is a generation of young people who are committed to total surrender to God and total dependence on his power to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. Go reach someone today. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the The Generation Podcast. For more faith-inspiring resources and information about joining The Generation, please visit thegeneration.org. That's T-H-E-E generation.org.